well, thank you. Hi, Cosney. Nice to see you here. How are you? Hi, Sally. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. So, uh, tell us about you to our audience. So, I, uh, my name's Courtney Healis. I have worked at Galliard Homes now for seven years. Mm -hmm. Currently, I am a senior sales manager um, managing the Newham Yard Tower Bridge Road development, which is what we're here to discuss today. Mm -hmm. um, I have worked at various different developments throughout my career at Galliard, so have a good understanding of the company mm -hmm. and uh, London as a whole. Mm -hmm and to understand the product as well. So for example, this new home yard we are in right now, this project. This is quite a new project, isn't it? Yes, it is very new. Um, we are just about to complete phase one, which we're sat in at the moment, which is 153 Tower Bridge Road. Mm -hmm. And then we have phase two, which is a year away from completion. Um, we started sales here uh, just over a year ago, at the end of last year, mm -hmm. um, and we have phase two to sell, which is 57 apartments. Mm -hmm. um, it is very new, but we have done an awful lot of developments in this area over the years. Galliard Homes have quite a big history in SE1. Okay, but why now, why this location for New Homes Yard? What's so special about this piece of land? This. As I said, Galliard Homes have a big history in, in mm -hmm. SE1. So we've had Butler's Wharf, which is Shad Thames. We've okay. done a White House, a County Hall, lots of developments in between. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently did, two years ago, a small development on Long Lane called Design House. I used to live up. When my husband uh, was relocated to London, uh, he lived in that building. Oh, that's really? that's a very close to Barrow High Street, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Why would you know this is going to be popular? Because it's very well priced for Zone 1. Mm -hmm. uh, it's reasonably priced for such central location. It's very appealing to investors because it rents so easily mm -hmm. and there's still plenty of room for appreciation. Mm -hmm. Still, you know, £1,150 a foot, mm -hmm. which is very reasonable for Zone 1. Mm -hmm. So we knew it would be popular. Mm -hmm. um, but on top of the price, uh, so now in Chinese currency, I did a calculation, so 1100 per square foot, if the exchange rate is 1 to 9, that's roughly about uh, 110,000 uh, renminbi per square meters. Right, it's, wow. It's about that. <laughs> okay. This is not so good, but it's <laughs> oh, yeah. around that. And how about the other projects in this area? How, what's the price per square foot normally? I think one of the interesting things is if you know this area well, mm -hmm. one of the most iconic developments is Number One Tower Bridge, which was a Barclay Homes development. Yeah. Now, we're 650 metres from Tower Bridge Road. It's not far at all. Um, number one, Tower Bridge sold a few years ago for around £1,400 per square foot. Mm -hmm. And considering we're in such close proximity to that, I think it makes ours look like incredible value for money, mm -hmm. but being so close to Tower Bridge. So I think that's really appealing. Mm -hmm. So that's the price is very competitive. Very. Uh, when you when you bought this piece of land, when you started building as a developer, who are your end users? Who do you have in mind? Who would buy this project? It's a real mix, mm -hmm. and we knew it would be a mix. Mm -hmm. So, for example, phase one, 29 apartments, it's completely split down the middle. We've had a lot of investors because, as I said before, they know that the appreciation is still there. There's still room to to improve and the area and there is still room to grow in value. Um, the rental is very good, such close proximity to London Bridge, um, you could walk to Liverpool Street in 25 minutes, so it's very appealing for people to rent. Um, so I think an overall, an overall package for an investor. But this market, in, this area in particular, because of the culture and the cuisine and the, the, the nightlife and the things to do around here, it's, very, it's a very appealing place to live, not only for young professionals, but also for families. Mm -hmm. So we knew it would be a real mix of owner-occupiers and investors. And we tend to find that 
all the owner occupiers that have bought in phase one have a history of living in the area so it's very local market for owner occupiers which is interesting mm -hmm. well you mentioned about the investors um, what, where are they kind of geographically where were they located are they international investors the local investors what we've had say? I would say of the investors we've had a large proportion overseas mm -hmm. um, China and Hong Kong um, and UK investors as well. And local investors yes, as well. Yes. Yeah. If they know the area, they know the price for square foot. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So for the UK investors that we've had, they have a large portfolio in the area, specifically in SE1. Mm -hmm. um, so they do know the area very well. Yeah, because when we're walking to this show flat, you didn't mention to me, you said, okay, so this is a startup two bedroom. Yeah. And the square feet is about, um, it's about 60 something square meters. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just over 800,000. And it's a two bedroom. Yeah. So for price uh, like this in Zoom 1 Central London, it's actually very difficult to find. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And the one bedrooms that we had, I mean, the one bedrooms in Zone in phase one are all sold now. Um, but the one bedrooms that we have in phase two, you know, to get a one bedroom under 700,000 in zone one is very difficult, but you can get that here. So I think that's very appealing. Mm -hmm. So what about the other uh, special about this project? Because um, a lot of people, when I saw your brochure, the marketing material, yeah. you do mention a lot about Bermondsey High Street. Yes. Yeah. yes. So I would say Bermondsey High Street is probably one of the most iconic roads in SE1. Um, it's full of delis, bistros, cuisine, art galleries, it's all about performing arts and culture. Mm -hmm. So Bermondsey Street is iconic. Um, I think what's really appealing about the development is that you can walk from London Bridge down Bermondsey Street mm -hmm. and directly into the development. Mm -hmm. So as iconic as Tower Bridge Road is, it's a very busy road, so mm -hmm. it's very nice to have the option to walk straight down Bermondsey Street past all the shops. Mm -hmm. So that, I think, is the biggest selling point about the development for overseas and the UK market. What's the walking distance to the London Bridge by the Bermondsey High Street? It will be eight minutes. Eight minutes. That's eight minutes walk. That's really cool, it's, And it's a lovely walk. You walk past the park, past all the shops. It's a lovely walk. Yeah. Try that actually later. Um, and so, Courtney, my last question for you is about the current market. You know, the COVID nineteen, London lockdown. Yeah. You know, all this things happening in such a short period of time. A lot of buyers they kind of hesitated. They said, "Are they? Is this a good time to buy? What would you think?" I think it's been a scary time for everybody. Um, I think we. We all expected there to be a slight downturn in the market, but the good news is that there hasn't been at all. Uh, we've been back in the office now doing viewings for about six to eight weeks. It's been very busy. Mm -hmm. We've had an awful lot of owner occupiers coming in to do viewings. Mm -hmm. People are wanting to move. Mm -hmm. um, people aren't wanting to put their lives on hold. Mm -hmm. um, and also overseas, we've been doing some exhibitions in Hong Kong, which mm -hmm. have been incredibly successful. We mm -hmm. have, yeah, I think we're confident that things will get, you know, we'll get back to normal soon. Mm. And especially, you know, when people have been doing lockdown, their life has been kind of manually stopped for mm. such a long time. So a lot of people, they wanted to buy, maybe they just kind of be put a hold down, like a stop onto it. And now the market starts to open, then they want to do some activities, maybe. Definitely. Yeah. I think people that have been in lockdown for eight weeks and they've been stuck in their homes, it's given them the push to make decisions, to make changes and just reflect on life. And people that wanted to move are definitely being proactive about it. And the, uh, at the end of the day, honestly, you know, to eat and to have a place to live, those are the two most basic human needs. Mm -hmm. So. I have the confidence that you know UK has been through so much mm -hmm. and we will pass, this will yeah. pass. I think a good message mm -hmm. to the viewers is that we are confident the UK market is going to get back to normal very soon. You know, the whole world has been through this terrifying pandemic and um, we are coming out of lockdown now. Businesses are reopening, shops, restaurants all reopening soon. Um, so we are very confident that life will return to normal. So we do welcome you to come and have a look at the development. Great.